So, today it will be very interesting. You will learn about a new component. Secret component? Yeah, you will see. So one more time, we have here the current uh, boost converter. Mm -hmm. Adjust the, the duty cycle, yeah, set up like 100 milliamps. Okay, I'm going to check the output voltage for you, which is 23, yeah? Yeah. Now raise the current, yeah? Increase the duty cycle duty and cycle. raise the current to 400 milliamps. So with 400 milliamps, we have like 37 volts, yeah? Mm -hmm. Good. Now it is a problem. You know what problem it is? Always it's a problem. <laughs> Always. Yeah, try and check this one. It's getting hot. Oh, yeah. And the problem is if I'm uh, racing the duty cycle and I'm not watching, it's like over one amp. You know what I mean? Yeah. This, this little game is extremely hot. Let me lower. Let me lower it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is hot. Yeah. So what do I want to do with you today? We want a current detector. I want something to tell me, okay, this is too much current. Okay. A current sensor. So you have to figure uh, it out. I'm, I'm thinking uh, <laughs> we have a smoke alarm, we have uh, that gas alarm. Oh. Current alarm, okay. <laughs> no. Kind of alarm. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. So basically I want to fit like a LED uh, and I want the LED to be on when I have like, let's say like 400 milliamps. I, I know, you know, when the LED is on, I know it's there is 400 milliamps and uh, I have to stop. Okay. But what if it's more than... <sighs> If it's more than, I mean, it's a, <laughs> you know, the, 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 yeah. it's an alarm, you know, it will yeah. be on. Okay. Yeah. So how we can, uh, how we can fit on, uh, on our schematic, a current detector or a current sensor? Hmm. You know what? Mm. I never know, actually, these words, they exist, like current detector, current sensor. I, I, I learned it from YouTube, people write in the chat. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but usually what it is... It's, it's a resistor. You can believe that. So it's a normal resistor, but they call it like, okay, because the yeah, ca current detector or current sensor because it's used for something like that. But basically it's a resistor. All right. So, the so same, same with, the, with, the, with the switching power supply. So mm -hmm. for me, it's a switching power supply. But the people, they come, okay, no, this is a, a back, back, back convert, back inverter, then boost back. I, I, I can't even remember, you know? <laughs> It's funny, they use like complicated words for a basic power supply, you know what I mean? Okay. So same with the current sensor or current resistor, mm -hmm. it's just a normal resistor. So how we can do on this schematic, yeah? Yeah. Uh, what is the idea of the resistor? What will happen with the resistor? The resistor, it will lose current, right? Yeah. Losing current, does mean uh, we can... Uh, that's mean on one side of the resistor, you'll have a different potential compared with the other side of the resistor. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So where we can insert here a resistor on the schematic to have like a current sensor or current resistor? Hmm. Um, um, Come on. Um, just say, just, just say, say a place. <laughs> between the diode and the um, um, capacitor? Mm, okay, smart, smart, but not really. It's a good idea, but doesn't really work on this, uh, on this uh, schem particular schematic, which is a boost uh, inverter. Okay. You first, you have to think the, the high current track. Yeah, so the high mm -hmm. current is like that, here, here, here. This is the high current. So basically, all your uh, 100 milliamps is going on this uh, hmm. on this track. So then you place that between uh, transistor and the diode. You have something with the diode. 
<laughs> this is something else. This is mm. a different circuit. Yeah, this is a different circuit. Oh, so that means you gonna I'm put no, no, be no. between the coil and the um, transistor. <clears throat> you can't do. You you cannot alter this circuit. Okay. You can't do it. You can, because anything you insert here, it will change the functionality of this. Mm -hmm. So you cannot touch this circuit. Yeah, you cannot right. touch it. Mm -hmm. I mean, why you complicate? You see, you see, that's probably that's a, that's a woman <laughs> thing. You try to complicate a simple thing. Obviously. <laughs> I'm just why in the world you will do that simple? No, no, no. Yeah, you see, you see I just I just draw the current circuit. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can put it in a hundred places, but you choose exactly <laughs> here somewhere in the middle. Uh, so wait. where where you can place the resistor? Before the coil. Is here? No. Here? Yeah. Yeah, so you want, okay, I know what you mean, but this is taking only few milliamps or microamps. So I would say, why not here? Yeah. No, you said here. No, no, no. I said before the coil. Ah, so before it's anywhere here. Yes. Yeah, okay. It's anywhere <laughs> okay. there. Also, you can place it on the minus. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah. Be, 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 before that, meaning the, on the other side. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. That's a right. good idea. So let's draw it. All right. So what you said here, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is our current resistor, or current sensor. Yeah. Where we are connecting the LED. You, what do you mean? Where do we connect the LED? But we solve no problem if we connect our resistor here. I mean, uh. apart from the fact we are losing current on the other resistor, mm -hmm. we didn't solve any problem. Like how I said, I want a LED. Where we are connecting the LED? So we will leave the. No, no, leave this one. This okay. this have nothing to do. It. it, it you, you fit a resistor, yeah? Yeah. A resistor to lose current, right? Mm -hmm. So here I will have a, a voltage, here I will have a different voltage because the drop of the current comes at the package with drop of voltage, right? Yeah. So here I will have some voltage and here I will have some voltage. So yeah. I'm going to choose the resistor mm -hmm. in a way like, let's say, okay, uh, 400 milliamps. So I should have, I should have here, like here I will have 12, yeah? Yeah, like like usual, yeah. Mm -hmm. And here I want to have ten volts, mm -hmm. and that's mean if I'm checking from here to here, yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the voltage from here to here? It's like uh, eleven. No, wait. Here you have twelve volts. Mm -hmm. Here you have ten volts. What voltage you have across the resistor? I never, I think I never measure those. Uh, you, you, you don't have to measure. I'm ju <laughs> I just told you, here you have 12, yes. here you have 10. How much, how, how much voltage you lose from 12 to 10? Oh, lol, two volts. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, now you understand? So what I'm, will be the voltage across the Obviously, road? we are women, we need to complicate things, but <laughs> they're, they're so simple. <laughs> I, I was pretty sure you, you're thinking something more yes, complicated. Yes, uh, I was thinking more. Okay, so what is the voltage here? Two uh, volts. Two volts, yes. What we can do with two volts? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's not enough, huh? It's not enough. You need more. Yeah, but LED is working with two volts. You didn't know that? No. I mean, it should be around two volts, but we are speaking about current when it's about LEDs. So LED need like 25 milliamps, which is about two volts. Mm -hmm. So where we are connecting the LED? There. Where? There. <laughs> <laughs> there, you show me the computer. <laughs> there. So you put the LED here. Okay. <laughs> oh, and there was the LED. No, 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 no that, that's a light bulb. No, no, no. 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 Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um. Undo, yeah. All right, lock. Okay. 
Okay. Right? Yeah. And you connect... Um, mm -hmm. We just spoke from here to here. Yeah? From here to here. You have two volts, right? Right? Oh, so then you connect this one to here. Here, yeah, exactly. Oh, no. Why in the world I was thinking, like, you cannot connect this one here because you have to connect on this side, so... It doesn't make sense. You know what? You have two volts. It doesn't matter where is that resistor. You have two volts. Okay, so that two volts, I'm using it for to light up the LED. True. Yes. Okay, let's modify the schematic, yeah? Let's modify the schematic because uh, bad things can happen in this case. Because you have here a big capacitor. We didn't put a capacitor here in the schematic. True. You know how important is that capacitor? This one from minus, right? Mm -hmm. From plus, sorry. From plus to minus. So if you have this capacitor, you'll burn the LED. So here, you need a resistor to limit the current across the, the LED. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Because otherwise, when the capacitor is empty, it will act like a short. It will burn your LED, so that two volts, it will go way higher. Okay, so let's do it. I don't have a resistor, so I have adjustable resistor. So we're gonna use this adjustable resistor, which I try to adjust it about what we need. So, we have the wires from uh, from the resistor. Mm -hmm. Those are the wires. Yeah. And the LED has to be on the parallel mode, right? Uh, with what? With the resistor. The LED, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll connect the wires, yeah? Mm -hmm. Just to avoid soldering. So the resistor is on the parallel with the LED. Good, perfect, perfect. Now we have the plus, and the plus has to go here. Yeah? Yep. We don't touch the minus. Let's test it. Okay, so I'll hold the plus. So the LED is off, yeah? Yeah. Good. Now increase the current. Increase the current. Yeah, you have to go like 400 milliamps. Check the LED. Check yeah. the, check. Look, 400 milliamps. And the LED, it's, it, it's on. It's on. Yeah? Yeah. So that's what is called a current sensor or a current resistor. Go higher. More? Yeah. You can see here, and the LED is on. Now go down on the current. Yeah, it's off. Yeah. You can see? So now we know when we are, uh, you know, we are uh, getting over 400 milliamps, the LED is on. Mm -hmm. You can see? Yeah, now we 400. have 400 milliamps. Yeah. And the LED is on. So that what is called a current resistor or a current sensor. Now, have in mind, in electronics, they are using a lot this. Okay. Yeah, it's a sophisticated name. Basically, it's just a resistor. Yeah? Okay. yeah, but because you insert a resistor on, on a circuit where the current is flowing, and obviously, based on the ohm law, the resistor, it will draw voltage. Yeah. So you will have a voltage on one side and a voltage on the other side. Now, you can take this voltage and use it for whatever you want. I mean, you can go and uh, measure the voltage, or you can insert like a protection Mm -hmm. You understand? To cut down some things when the current is going up. We're going to learn in the future this. I'm just telling you for what it's used. And okay. it is used on power supplies and power rails, yeah? Uh, in order to co control the current, yeah? Mm -hmm. Just think, yeah? Maybe we are using this circuit with 100 milliamps. 100 milliamps, the LED will be off. Yeah. If something goes wrong with this circuit, yeah? Let's say it's getting shorted or something. Mm -hmm. This LED it will be on because obviously the current is rising, yeah? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So you understand now? Yeah, but what what do you mean that it will it will be on? Whatever happened on this circuit, you're racing with 100 milliamps and the LED is off. Yeah. So whatever happened on the circuit, what can happen? You know, you have a shorted MOSFET. You have a high output current. The current it will increase, and the LED it will oh, light it up. Will have, yeah. And you understand? Okay, I know I'm using with 100 milliamps, and the LED should be off. If it's on, that means something is wrong. All right, so if yeah. it's on, that means you have more current. Yes. Exactly, I have over 400 milliamps current. Yeah. Okay. Yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. So you understand? So this is like a current sensor, current detector, current resistor. Oh, okay. That's how it's called, I know. But it's just a resistor. Mm -hmm. Okay? Good.